<laughs> Halloween is coming and I want to do something extra haunting this year. So I've been to my local cooperative food and picked up some mysterious ingredients with which I'm going to be transforming some hot dogs into Freddy's freaky fingers, some burgers into meaty monster Max, and I'll be turning some donuts into demon donut Damien. Try saying that fast 10 times. Demon donut Damien Demon 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 Demon. So come along for the ride. Try not to get too scared whilst we make some spooky foods. Here we go. So first up we're going to be making our meaty monster Max. So I'm going to need to cook some burgers. I'm following the instructions on the back of the packet which says to do it for like 18 minutes under the grill. So I'll do that now. And then we can get started on the exciting stuff. So whilst the burger is cooking we can start preparing our vegetables uh, by cutting out some devil horns from some red peppers and also some eyes from some cucumbers. I'm going to take one long pointy red pepper like this and then just kind of cut the ends off and then cut that bit into two. Being careful with the knife. And then as you can see, the horns will be a little something like that. So the eyes are nice and big. I'm gonna cut slightly more than half of the cucumber. So it's a bit more than a semicircle. And these will become the eyes. And as the burger is still cooking, you can actually cut the cheese in advance. We're gonna make some fangs with this cheese and I found it's easiest if you trim it whilst it's still on the chopping board rather than putting it on the burger first. So I basically just into one side, I'm gonna cut in some diagonal fangs. So they're nice and sharp and pointy. Now the cheese is quite delicate, so I'm not going to pick it up to show you. There it is. Ready to go onto the burger. Which I think is just about done. Whoa, a bit smoky. Now the trick here is to put the cheese straight on the burger whilst it's still hot, so that the cheese then melts all the way down the sides. Now we can get the bun out and start assembling. So we just pop the burger straight onto the bun there. And then we can work out where we're going to stick the eyes and the horns. We're going to want the eyes to sit in there like that. So I'm going to make two little slits where they should be. And then do the same again with the horns. So you can always trim down the bottom bit as well. Just to make it easier to stick in. I'm gonna go like that and like that. In goes one, then in goes the other. And then the top head goes on top of the burger, just like that. Just put it back a little bit so that we can see the fang sticking out there as well. Now all that's left to do is finish them off with a little bit of ketchup for some eyes and then for a bit of blood dripping down from the fangs. And of course, what's a burger without some ketchup? And here he is, Meaty Monster Max. Looking pretty scary and creepy. There he is, it looks so cool. And the best thing about it, not only does it look awesome, but it tastes good too. Sorry about this, Max. Mmm, that is a yummy burger. Sadly, Meaty Monster Max didn't last very long, so we better make some friends for him. So I'm gonna be turning these hot dogs into Freddy's Freaky Fingers. Creepy. Whilst you've got your hot dogs cooking, you're going to want to cut an onion into some small fingernail shapes. And to do that, we're going to have to chop it up and then get creative. So you obviously don't need much for one fingernail. So I'm just going to take a little bit off the top here and then cut it down to size. You can also round off the edges a bit, just like a fingernail naturally would have. Don't lose that, otherwise you're going to have to chop off one of your own. Now with my hot dog here, I'm going to slice open a bun and we can start getting creative. Now we need to dig out a little space for the fingernail at the end of the hot dog as well. You've got to be quite careful when you do this. It's going to make some little slits and then another one across there. And then just kind of scoop out a bit. Now you just need to work out exactly how much you need for the fingernail. But that's looking pretty good. Then we also want to make some slits across the hot dog to resemble the knuckles in the finger. Ugh, looking creepy. And then pop your hot dog into the bun. And then to finish it off, grab some ketchup and start drizzling it all over to create that fresh bloody finger effect. So you can get pretty creative here with how you want to do it. We can have some dribbling down the side. Never has a creepy dead finger hot dog look so good and tasty. Mm -mm. And last but by no means least, Demon Donut Damien rears his ugly and spooky head. Donut head. First up, I'm going to take some milk chocolate and melt it in a bowl that's sitting over some simmering water so that it melts nice and gently. And we're going to need this to pretty much put the whole thing together to like stick everything on. So melt this first. Now keep stirring until it's just about melted. That is some thick, chocolatey, gooey goodness right there. Take a sandwich bag and you want to very carefully get all the chocolate into one corner because we're going to use this to squeeze it out and pipe it. So the aim of the game is to get it into one corner without making a big mess. And of course, do try the chocolate just to make sure that it's good. Now take out a donut. Now for the fun bit. Try and get all the air bubbles out as well. Make a tiny little slit just so that a little bit of chocolate can come out. Now we can start by drawing some hair with the chocolate at the top of the donut. 
I don't know what hairstyle that's supposed to be. Now take out two white chocolate buttons and these are gonna be his eyes. I know it's such a waste, right? We're gonna have to eat all of them later. And then just like we did with the cucumbers, I'm gonna cut them into generous halves. So like sort of about two thirds. Make sure they're about the same size. And these become his evil eyes. And so that they stick on there, we're gonna put a little dollop of chocolate just on the back of the eye, position them however you like them, and they'll stay there forever until you eat it. Add a little bit more chocolate to make some eyebrows now. And then finally, right in the middle of the eyes to create the pupils. So there are his eyes done, starting to look pretty creepy already. Hello. Now I'm gonna take out the teeth from these teeth and lip sweets, and these are gonna be Damon's teeth. And once again, we wanna put a little chocolate on the bottom of these fangs so that they stay on the donut and stick on there for a good amount of time. Now I'm gonna take some strawberry jam and dribble it down from his fangs and that's gonna be the blood dripping down from his mouth and it's gonna look pretty creepy and awesome. Put a little dollop on there and spread it out. And again on the other side. And there he is, Damon, you're looking awesome, pretty terrifying, but I'm still gonna be eating you later. <laughs> thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Also, thanks to the Cooperative Food for making this video possible. If you want full instructions on how to make these spooky treats at home and a few others, then click on the link in the description down below. Be sure to take some photos of your creations and post them online using the hashtag SpookyFood so that I can check them out. But otherwise, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye. Hey guys, you seem to love my last Food Hacks video so much that I've been back in this kitchen looking for more of the best Food Hacks out there. <laughs>